Wildcat Perspectives. First off, Governor Scholar's information will be in next week. And the Appalachian Wildlife Scholarship is due to be turned in by March 1st. Then on February 10th, our sophomores will be going to Eastridge to take their PSAG 10. Sophomores, don't be nervous, just study and you got this. And the Big Sandy Company Scholarship is due to be turned in by the end of this month. Please don't forget. Anyone interested in taking the ASVAB test needs to get their application turned in by January the 28th. Also, any of these previous announcements that we just said, if you have any questions, you can go to the office and ask Mr. Osborne. And now we have some interesting information about the total lunar eclipse that is happening on the 21st of this month, and it has the title of the Super Blood Wolf Moon. And as many people have asked, what does that title mean? Well, that's okay because I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, so the super in the title means that it is the closest that the moon is going to be ever to Earth. And the blood means that it's going to be an orangish reddish color. And then I've asked this question. I know most of you all, if you've known about it, have probably asked this question. What does the wolf mean in the title? Yeah, and that, that yeah, and that actually has nothing to do with the moon. It is <laughs> over the Native Americans and how when the wolf seen the first full moon in January, they howled because they were hungry. And all the information, I can say thank you to Miss Zelda Hall for that because I personally wouldn't have known none of that, but I'm really excited. So here's a couple of clips of the lunar eclipse that has happened in the past, and you all can look at that. And Enjoy. don't, yeah, don't forget to catch it on the 21st. Classic Tournament at Floyd Central. Ten teams participated and out of that we placed fourth in quick recall. Isabella Mullins placed fourth in math and Andrew Johnson placed fourth in science. We would like to take this time to remember a fallen police officer in our area by the name of Scotty Hamilton. He went to our school and his badge number was 111 and that is why on January the 11th they have declared a law enforcement appreciation day and it has also been declared Scotty Hamilton day. We were blue on this day in remembrance of him and as you enjoy these clips, please take a moment of silence. Thank you. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat. Now we would like to also recognize one of our late students, Lamont Wright. We all love Lamont, and we would love to see our Valley community come together by purchasing a shirt that Boyd Me made to support his family. On another note, Cheer finished fourth at their state competition. Speaking of cheer, we would like to say that school spirit has been succeeding in flying colors this year, with the blue crew coming to all the games and the amount of student participation during school events. And now we would like to turn it over to Matt and Angel for more on our sports news. Welcome to your Shelby Valley Sportscast. I'm Matt Chang. And I'm Angel Nessa. Our Shelby Valley men's basketball team has been great this season. So far they have only lost to Bourbon County and last week they were able to pull out a sizable win against our rival, the Pikeville Panthers. Our boys routed Pikeville and finished the game with a 10 point lead with the final score being 53-43. to 43. The Wildcats' impressive wins this season has elevated them to number one in the power rankings, according to their lover, 15th Region Zone. The Wildcats seem to have all the pieces in place for a run at the regional championship. 
and the school and community are buzzing about their uh, sensational teamwork and intangibles. The boys will enter the All-A Classic Tournament, where they hope to bring some hardware back to Greg Napier's office. That's it for me. Good luck, God bless, and go Cats. Now let's talk about the Shelby Valley Lady Cats. The Lady Cats begin the season with their new head coach, Dodo Rowe, along with only one experienced player. The transition has been tough, but it seems that things are starting to look up as the girls begin to play better and build great chemistry. Recently, our girls defeated the region's number one team, the Paintsville Lady Tigers, and upset the Belfry Lady Pirates. Both are big wins and have sparked hope in the Lady Wildcats. They are entering the All-A Classic Tournament this Saturday at the Expo Center starting at 8 o'clock p.m. The community has high hopes for the girls to bring home another championship. Last year, they advanced to the 2018 All-A Classic State Championship where they finished second. We expect to see a big crowd supporting our girls and boys during the tournament. With that being said, we want to wish the best of luck to our Wildcats and the Lady Cats as they continue their season. Students, next week we would like for everyone to participate in the All-A Spirit Week. Monday, wear black. Tuesday is Scholars vs. Ballers. Wednesday is University Pride. Thursday is Hillbilly Blue and White. And Friday, we're going to kick it old school and wear apparel from our Virgie, Valley, Millard, and Dorton days. If you don't have that, anything Valley will do, however. That's all we have for today. Remember, Good luck. God bless and go Cats! Try to better those around there. What is your New Year's resolution? My 2019 uh, New Year's resolution is uh, to calm down my temper because I don't want to get mad in front of my friends and uh, and I don't want to get mad at my family. What is your New Year's resolution? To graduate high school and to get into college. What is your 2019 New Year's resolutions? Probably to gain 20 pounds of muscle mass before football muscle mass starts. What is your New Year's resolution? To do one kind act every day. What is your 2019 New Year's resolution? To accomplish all my goals and make good grades. New Year, they made. What is your New Year's resolution? To be a better me and get my grades up and stay focused on school. Uh, what is your New Year's resolution? Mine is to, to be uh, more fit, trying to watch what I eat, exercise more, uh, and, and lose some, some poundage and some, some inches. What is your New Year's resolution? To help others. Hi, I'm Harley Newsom and I'm reporting Valley Elementary's news. First, the boys basketball home games for the next two weeks will be Prestonsburg on the 17th, Dorton on the 21st, and Millard on the 24th. The 24th will be our annual varsity court. The girls volleyball home games for the next two weeks are Johns Creek on the 14th, Pikeville on the 15th, and the panorama is on the 19th. They'll have a new principal within the next two weeks. They'll host the Valley Elementary Super Saturday, January 12th. We'll be hosting 10 teams. On January 17th, our Gear Up College Career Navigator, Missy Spangler, will be having a guest speaker after school, Delana Atkins, Pike County Head Librarian. We'll be here to sign booth students and parent guardians up for a library card. Finally, Valley Elementary will be having their annual varsity court ceremony on January 31st and 8th grade night on the 24th also. Hi, I'm Gracie Newsom reporting Dorton Elementary's news. The boys basketball team was in action at home Thursday, January 3rd, 2019 against the Pikeville Panthers. The Wildcats came from behind to defeat the Pikeville Panthers with a score of 47 to 45. Carl Robinson led the way with 15 points, and Chaz Brown finished the game with a total of 13 points. 
their sixth graders are taking the lessons in geography, social studies, writing, and more to a new level by participating in a pen pal program with select schools across the United States under the guidance of teachers Rika Bevins and Dakota Clevenger. Classes in each state send postcards to each other, creating a wall map with the cards attached to strings to signify where these cards came from. They started receiving cards in October as other schools came into session and got going. The furthest one they have received so far is from Portland, Oregon. And Claverger and Bevins wish to recognize the efforts of Kiara Newsom, the student who created and maintains a website with Kentucky facts and other information for the program. My name is Paige Werner. I'm a 2014 graduate of Shelby Valley High School. While at Shelby Valley High School, I played softball. I was in the National Honor Society, the Beta Club, the Pike County Youth Leadership Council, and the Student Technology Leadership Program. One of my best high school memories is Homecoming Week because it really brought my class together and we rallied against the other classes. I attended college at Alice Lloyd where I done my work study in financial aid and joined the Kentucky Education Association student program. I presented at a national conference in Jacksonville, Florida and one in Washington, D.C. in 2017 and 2018. I became president of the Kentucky Education Association student program at Ellis Lloyd on my in my senior year. I was a member of Kappa Delta Pi and I graduated in May of 2018. So college is hard, but it's well worth it. I'm now a first year teacher at Shelby Valley and I teach integrated science one and biology. I also help coach softball and I plan to get my master's in general biology through Mississippi State University. I'm Cadet Captain Satin Bentley from the Shelby Valley JROTC program. What is JROTC? JROTC is a program that motivates young people to become better citizens. Just because you're in the JROTC program does not mean in any way that you have to go to the military. What is your position in JROTC? Uh, I'm actually uh, S1. I'm a part of the staff. I deal with personnel. I have to know everything and anything there is to know about each cadet in the program. What are some things that JROTC does? Well, we have multiple different teams. We have the rifle team, the raider team. We take the big garrison flag out on the football field. We do color guards at basketball games. We go to co color guard competitions, raider competitions, rifle competitions. Uh, usually, we do a service learning project. Last year, we took up books. We did a book drive for Valley Elementary. Uh, we take rewards trips like at the beginning of the year, we went on a rewards trip. We went down to Pikeville Pond and rafted. It was a lot of fun. Last year, we went to some kind of war reenactment that was in Gate City. It was a lot of fun. It was different than what we usually do, just going to Gettys and stuff. But we like to do a lot of fun things that are that deal with learning and then we also want them to be fun for the other cadets.